Good morning, Malis. I'm here. My name is Isaac. I'm here with your morning announcements. Congratulations to all the freshman girls basketball team for beating Heritage last week and making it to the regional playoffs here. Are right, some highlights. Let's take a look. The RHS freshman girls basketball team is one win away from making the playoffs after dominating crosstown rivals Heritage High School. <laughs> We are um, one win away from uh, clinching a regional berth, and uh, they've really been working hard um, on the court, off the court. Um, we did their grade point averages the other day. They have a 3.8 as a, as a cumulative grade point average. So um, they, they've just been a really pleasure to coach. We're, we're excited. We think that uh, Lady Mountie basketball and our, and, and our classes that, are, that we're putting together back to back are, are, are really on the upswing, and we think you know, we've really got some good stuff that's coming in the next few years. Uh, we have one that's already moved up and starting for our varsity team, and that's Gracie Carr. And the kid has just done a great job of, of, of growing into a role with them um, and uh, takes a tremendous amount of courage and mental toughness to be able to do that and then to see her be productive has been, has been uh, really exciting for me. And then we've got kids like uh, Nadia Cates and Cameron Brockoff and uh, Presley Risenhoover, Eden Stowball, Taylor Treadwell. You know, those guys, um, are, are, they have a chance to make an immediate impact for our varsity next year. Uh, we're really excited about what we have coming and we feel like uh, uh, that our coaches, our youth coaches and, and our freshman coach and Coach Reigns have done a good job of developing those kids and they'll be ready to plug into our program next year. When they're through with their freshman year, they'll be really appreciative of the things that she's done for them to prepare them. This is a great day to be a Mountie. We're proud of all our Lady Mountie athletes. With RHS TV, this is Amante Jones. The so goal against Van Buren at Benville West on Wednesday at 7. Make sure you go and support our Lady Mounties. Congratulations to the RHS cheer squad for advancing in the semifinal round at National Cheer Competition in Florida last week. The team finished 10th overall. Coach Miller said she's very proud of her team, and they've been through a lot, and they've come so far into the Nationals. On Wednesday was a very special day for students. RHS TV recorded some highlights of Valentine's Day. Let's watch. Valentine's a fun day because you know you get to show show your feelings to that person you love or like the most. So you get to express what you feel, what you're feeling towards presents, gifts, and flowers. Um, Joan Martinez for uh, Jaylen Vega, for Alvarado. Outstanding job last week, Decca, as they held the annual Make-A-Wish making Princess Maggie's dream come true. Congratulations to Queen Grace Reisenhower and the Color Day Court. Let's take a look at some highlights. <laughs>
Dakota Day Dance has rescheduled to next Saturday, February 24th, 8 through 11 p.m. Five entry and 10 for guests. RHU student filmed the prom fashion show last week. Let's take a look. Here's a look at RHS's recent prom fashion show. Prom Fashion Show is an annual fundraiser that we do for prom. It just helps us have a little bit more money for decorations or extra things that make it a special night for our students. And so each year we have dress shops and um, a provider for tuxes. Um, and the students get to parade out in front of their classmates and show off some of the designs for the year, what's popular for that year. And then we also have a lot of door prizes. So if you bought a ticket to the fashion show, you get entered into a door prize. And it's everything from dinner or nails. We give away um, free tickets to prom and just some different things to kind of help get the students excited about preparing for prom. Well, I'm in prom committee and I have been for a couple of years. So I decided that I should model in it this year since I'm a senior. The purpose is to promote local tux and dress shops. I love it. It's really fun to just be able to put on a ton of pretty dresses and walk out there. Supporters of the RHS basketball team raised enough money and they held a silent auction. RHS was there and we caught some highlights. Let's watch. Silent auction raises money for the RHS basketball teams. We are having a fundraiser for the boys basketball team. We have a bake sale and silent auction going on. I'm here because I have a senior, Jaden, and I have a freshman, Carson, that are both on the basketball team. I appreciate them. This takes a lot of hard work and dedication, and I really appreciate the fact that they're willing to put their, their money and effort into something to help the boys' basketball team. Mountains, we have lots of videos on our YouTube channel, including live streams and recaps of basketball games, etc. All the things that are going around in our school. But if you want to know, check our YouTube out at RHS TV, short for Rogers High School Television. Well, that's it, Mounties. Thanks for watching. And remember, it's a great day to be a Mountie, so have fun.